let us start with the next property that is distributive property what do you mean by distribution that we distribute for example on your birthday you distribute sweets or toffees to your friends or teachers yeah so in that case you don't depend that you are giving equally you are distributing equally to the teachers or the friends yeah but distributive property it is basically distributing a number equally distributing a number equally to every term are we clear basically in distributive property we distribute a number to each and every term are we clear for example addition what is given a into b bracket b plus c bracket close now what we have to do we have to distribute this a equally to b plus c so what we will do what is the sign between multiply so that is why we will multiply a into b clear with this now what is the sign between plus so plus when come as it is now a into c a into c don't you think it is associative yeah it is associative but there is a distribution in associative property we were associating two terms together with the same sign but here what is happening we are distributing a number to other term for example a was given to b also a is given to c also that is what distribution are we clear even instead of multiply there can be divide sign also but we will see to it now for example 4 into 3 plus 2 now 4 into 5 what is the answer 20 let's see 4 into 3 plus 4 into 2 so that is 12 plus 8 again 20 hence distributive property holds good in case of addition are we clear any doubt in this anyone so you can do this is very very important property very very improper, important property you'll see this property in future also in rational numbers everywhere this is very important property and most of the question comes from this property only so it's very very important now there's a homework i'm giving you a homework you have to try what if divide sign is there are they are getting distributed properly is a is getting distributed properly this is your homework i want to see practice and then we'll see on this let's see subtraction now in there plus was there now minus but there will be no change here now this a will be distributed to b also and c also therefore a into b since the minus sign is there minus sign will come a into c for example again let me take this example only what is the answer for let's see 4 into 3 4 into 2 that is 12 minus 8 again 4 hence distributive property holds good for the subtraction also are we clear again if divide sign is there division sign is there what is the answer this is your homework you will do it and get the answer now you might be thinking why sir is not discussing about multiplication and division in this do remember this is what is the main difference between the associative property and distributive property association we were linking two terms together for example a plus b plus c what we were doing we were linking them together with the same sign yes or no yes or no but in distributive property what we are doing we are distributing a number to another term so if you are getting the combination of multiply plus multiply minus divide plus divide minus do understand that you have to use the distributive property but if the same sign is going on then you understand that is associative property are we clear about this are we clear let's see one example on this for example let me discuss like how to do it for example you may be given 5 into minus 3 minus 2 okay and somebody will ask you how to solve this okay so what you will do the combination now 5 into minus 3 now minus sign is there so minus sign will come as it is now 5 into 2 clear this is one term 
माइनस फिफ्टीन माइनस टेन वॉट इज द आंसर माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव आर वी क्लियर दिस इज हाउ यू विल बी सॉल्विंग नाउ यू माइट बी थिंकिंग सर वाई यू हैव टेकन माइनस आउटसाइड बिकॉज माइनस इफ यू टेक दैन प्लस देन यू कैन कीप माइनस हेयर ऑल्सो दैट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज प्लस माइनस माइनस आर वी क्लियर अबाउट दिस सो डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव एंड एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी फॉर द डे That is additive identity. What do you mean by additive? Add it to something. Yes. Add it to something. What do you mean by identity? Same. For example, your ID card, which gives reflects your identity, which gives information about you. Similarly, additive identity means what shall I add to a number so that I get the same number back? What shall I add? Add to a number so that I get a same number back. That is zero, because a plus zero is zero. If we add anything to a zero, we'll be getting same number back. That is why zero is known as additive identity. Similarly, a minus zero is also a. Also, zero is additive identity. But a into zero is zero. Do you think now a zero is a relative identity? No, because we are not getting a bar. So zero is not a relative identity in case of multiplication. Does not hold good. Similarly, a divided by zero. What it means? A by zero. Yes or no? But do you remember that if we divide any number by zero, do remember it is always undefined or infinity. Infinity means we cannot count undefined or infinity clear now there is something called additive inverse also what do you mean by inverse opposite similarly additive inverse what we have to do just change the sign how your plus will become minus your minus will become plus for example if i ask you what is the additive inverse of minus 5 what is the answer Five. What is the additive inverse of hundred? What is the answer? Minus hundred. What is the additive inverse of zero? It is incorrect to say that zero is having any additive inverse. Why? Because zero is a neutral number, so not possible. Don't write minus zero or plus zero. There is nothing called minus zero or plus zero because zero is a neutral number. Are we clear? Let's move on to the mul multiplicative identity. Multiplicative identity. Now, what shall I multiply a number with so that I get a same number back? That is what one. So that is why one is the multiplicative identity. Are we clear about this? Zero was additive identity. One is the multiplicative identity. A divided by one means a by one. What is the answer? A. So again, for division also multiplicative identity. Holds, but a plus one means, for example, I am taking five. Five plus one means six. Are we getting five back? No, we are getting six. We are getting one number head. That is what successor means. So a plus one means a plus one, one term ahead. So one does not hold good for the addition. Similarly, a minus one will be a minus one. For example, five minus one. Four. Are we getting five? No, we are getting predecessor. Are we clear? So it does not hold good for this. Let's see. Multiplicative inverse. Inverse means opposite. So it what will happen? Your multiply will become divide. So that what it means? Reciprocal. So what do you mean by reciprocal? Your numerator becomes denominator. Your denominator becomes Numerator. For example, what is the multiplicative inverse of five? What is the answer? One by five. What is the multiplicative inverse of one by ninety-nine? That is ninety-nine. Denominator becomes numerator. Numerator becomes denominator. By this, your identities of integers over.